Okay, everybody, I promised you I'd show you how to correct the student ratio or faculty student ratio uh, column. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think this is actually easier. Uh, Palmer's idea uh, to simply make a copy of the original Google Sheet and then make a field that is uh, an integer field or just a number field and then put in the maximum number of students without putting the colon and the number one and or the or writing in two and letting it remain a number column and don't change it to plain text okay that might be faster in this case than doing what I'm going to show you but I will show you anyway because it this capability is here and I just want to make you aware of it so you might want to try this um, so the first thing I did was you know plot my house on the map uh, where just as you were instructed to do and then I put in the school information and notice that like, I have JMU, Virginia Tech and way out here in the Pacific Ocean University of Hawaii and then I tried to write a, make a route and obviously the first time I tried to route it all the way to Hawaii it didn't work um, computer didn't know what to do with that 2,500 miles of ocean but I did route it to LA and it turns out I didn't have to route the other two schools because they happen to be on the same route so that was good planning all right so here's the problem when you open up this um, the, the uh, school information document one thing that you have to recognize here is that all we've done is bring in a sheet and it is displaying the points the addresses in those colors but this is not a feature when, when I'm talking about the uh, the colors for the colleges the dots that's just a on-the-fly display of these addresses that uh, ArcGIS Online is doing for us but it, they are not a feature and one way you can tell this is not a feature is that we really can't edit it so I come over here to the far right and I wanted to add a field and it won't let me there's no option to add a field because it's not a feature it's just a table still it's displaying on the fly so what do I have to do well I'm gonna to have to first turn this sheet information into a feature and then add a field to that feature and then I can edit it okay so this may be We'll see how this goes. So I'll close that. So we got to go to analysis, perform analysis on the school information that you typed up in, in Google Sheets and then saved as a CSV and then brought in. And we have to go to find locations. We're going to derive new locations. We're going to write an expression. It's going to be the school name is James Madison University. I'm just doing them in the order that they're listed. James Madison University, add expression, school name is University of Hawaii. Add expression, school name, Virginia Tech. Go back over here and change the ands to ors because not every these schools can't be two different schools at once or three. So now that you have the expression written, then we go to new locations and I'm just going to call this top three colleges. So it'll have a new name and then I'll run it. Oops, I already did this, so I have to give it a new name. No worries. College is number two.
Okay, it finally finished, and it took quite a while, longer than it should have. Uh, so now let's move on and let's change the symbology here. You'll notice that the, when it produces the new layer, it just puts them all with this big blue dot. So what I want to do is change that. I don't need the, the layer anymore. I'm sorry, I don't need the sheet anymore. I'm just going to turn it off. Turn on this, go to Symbology, and instead of just showing the location, I'm going to tell it to show the name of the school. And that brings up the option to change the colors. And it did it automatically for me, so that's fine. And so now they all have their own if I click the legend here, I can see they all have their own color. Okay, now what's interesting now is you'll see that if I open up the table, uh, let me find it. So here's that student ratio, that same student faculty ratio where I wrote, told you to put it in as plain text, 12 to one, 16 to one. We can't do anything with that. Uh, obviously because it's a mixture of text and number. And it's also in the wrong format because now it's text, so we can't graph it. So what we have to do is make a new field. So I'm gonna slide all the way over here and notice this time when I click the hamburger, the three lines, we can get, we can add a field. Now it's, it's going to do, it's gonna be a little tricky here only because we're gonna see some things in the background here that you don't normally see. A field name and a display name. And the display names usually can be any length you want them, or pretty long. And the field names have to be in a typical ArcGIS shorthand. So I figured that out after a few tries. So here we go. I'm just gonna call this one student or stud underscore two, actually I'm not gonna even put two, just fac ratio. So keep it short, stud fact ratio, and then display name will be student to faculty ratio. Now you might be surprised, say, well, I'm giving it the same name as student faculty ratio that we already used, but it's different because this is going not, this is not going to be string. This is going to be an integer, just a number. We're just going to put the numbers, okay? And the max number of students. And also, this, this stud fact ratio is probably not the same name that uh, ArcGIS did automatically on the fly uh, for the worksheet or the spreadsheet that we brought in. So I'm not worried about it. And we'll know soon enough, because if it gives us a warning, it'll be because something Maybe there's a duplicate name. If it doesn't, then we're okay. And it worked. Come all the way over. And now here's where I ran into trouble. I thought I could just click on these cells and type. Nothing is happening. So I was thinking, oh darn, this doesn't work. And I tried to use the calculator. And I don't, I'm showing you this so that you don't try it. Uh, I was going to use this SQL uh, faculty, uh, stud fact ratio calculator and have it put in the values, but all you can do is fill the, is fill every cell with the same number. And that's not good. So that didn't work. So I closed this and I thought, what am I going to do? And the thing to do is to go to home and go to content. find that layer, student, the, the, in this case mine was the top three schools, and then up here under data, we can click on data and then scroll all the way over and do the editing here. We've never done anything like this before and that's why I wanted to show you. So the first school was Hawaii and that was 12, maximum of 12 students per faculty. Remember, this, no, this, this field is no longer text, it's a integer. And then the middle one was JMU, and that was 16. 
and then Virginia Tech was 14. Okay, and I think this just saves on the fly. Let me make sure. Yeah, okay. So now let's just go back to the map and hope that this updated. Hey, look at that. So now your student faculty ratio is there again. And you have this other one here. Remember the original with the text in it? What can we do with that? Well, see the eraser? Student faculty ratio? Delete. Yes. Bye bye. And that is how you do this without bringing your spreadsheet back in.